Uh, finally nice to meet you. You too. You're pretty tall for an 18 year old. Oh, yeah. Miss Wilson always said good things about you. That's why she's my favorite teacher. Oh, uh, where's your... She went to the washroom, I believe. But she'll be here in a bit. Okay, uh, why don't we just set up then and she can join us when she's here. Sounds good to me. It's okay. okay. Uh, so I just want to thank you both for being my uh, first couple for my school project. I'll basically be asking you questions about your past, present, and future as a couple. And just a reminder that uh, everything will be anonymous, so uh, no names and no faces. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, let's start off with something simple. How did you both first meet? We actually met about four years ago. My parents and I traveled across the globe to her parents' place. I remember how hot it was that day. I was sweating like a fool, but she somehow still managed to look like an angel. Her hair perfectly resting on her head. Yes, our parents arranged our marriage for us. Our fathers were school friends. I'll always remember that first meeting we had. He didn't know anything about each other, but somehow, he made me feel so comfortable. It just felt so special. <sighs> Those were my favorite moments. I also remember how she tripped while trying to serve my parents some snacks. She's still as clumsy, if not more now. <laughs> I've never been the most graceful. Uh, so sir, uh, you grew up here and she grew up there? Correct. I grew up here and she grew up back home. We got married soon after that initial meeting, and thankfully she came back with me. That, that must have been exciting. I mean, traveling halfway across the world to a new home. Was it your first time traveling somewhere this far? It was my first plane ride altogether, actually. I just wanted the whole thing to end. And it being 22 hours definitely didn't help. And neither did your embarrassing shrieks. It was the turbulence. I'm used to it now. But sorry again. It's okay. Uh, so you've been here for about four years now, right? How do you like it? Oh, I love it here. So happy to be able to live here. I've learned a lot of new things from all these different cultures. Different foods, different people. I mean, it is really nice living here. But I do miss home a lot. My parents my sisters, my nieces, and nephews. But, but anytime I do miss home, my husband will remind me of how lucky I am to be here with him. Uh, speaking of parents, sir, what do you always think of her? Oh, they loved her. And uh, what about yours? Oh, they loved him. They think he's perfect for me. And, and uh, what about kids? Do you both have any? Kids? N no, not yet. We're just not ready to have a kid. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm open to the idea of having children, but I'm a strong believer in having children when the time is right. Um, I... I... I would love to have children. They're so pure and innocent. Their presence itself can bring so much joy into life. Also, I don't work, so the home does get a bit lonely when he goes to office. But my husband is right. I don't think now is the best time. But who knows what the future will hold, right? Do you both argue a lot or have the four years been smooth sailing? Uh, I... Look, I, I, I don't think any relationship can only be smooth sailing. I mean, you need those rocky moments to make the bond stronger, so yeah. I mean, we do have our fair share of arguments, but at the end of the day, we always forgive each other and make up, and that's how we continue our love. Right, honey? Right. And uh, what do you both think is the single most important thing for a relationship to work? One word. Trust. 
I mean, if we can both trust each other with anything and everything, it takes so much pressure off the both of us. We always know the other person has the best intentions at heart, so we have no reason to be afraid of anything. And because of that, it definitely has to be trust. And what about you? I'm, I'm going to have to say respect. I think respect forms the basis of any type of relationship. A friendly one, a romantic one, one between a parent and their child. If respect isn't part of a relationship, is it really a worthy relationship? But yes, respect can come in many forms and in many ways that other people might not understand. But as long as the two people involved in the relationship know that there is respect for one another, despite all these... So, sorry, I don't know where I'm going hey, with this. Uh, don't worry about it. So respect's the big thing for you? Yes. And trust for you? Yeah, but, but respect is, is very important as well. I think that's why we've clicked so well together. Okay, and uh, now just one last question, and we'll begin with you, sir. And it is a little bit cheesy, so uh, please bear with me. But how much do you love your wife? I mean, as much as the next man loves his wife, maybe a little more. But in all seriousness, she's the single most important person in my life, and there's no one that I can love as much as her. And, uh, what about you, miss? How much do you love your husband? A lot. <laughs>